away in four little boxes. And yeah, this is all pottery here. Is what Heritage Museum curator Bill Latati says Body shirts, yeah. is one of the biggest collections of artifacts he's ever seen. We had originally thought there were about 7,000. We found out there were approximately 1,800 more than we had expected. After being removed from tribal lands in 1948 without ban permission, more than 8,000 pieces of pottery, stone tools, and other artifacts are calling the Boys Fort Reservation home once again. It adds to the story of, of the Boys Fort people, and it gives us um, another part to tell. It's a story that band members say they're excited to tell on their own. The Minnesota Historical Society, which took possession of the artifacts years ago, returned them at the request of band members, who say this is an important part of their history. It represents probably about 3,000 years of history. Band members are hoping to learn more about their history through the artifacts and educate both band members and non-band members alike. Part of the mission of the, uh, of the museum is to uh, educate everyone about, uh, about history. More important than the history, however, might be just simply having such a large piece of tribal heritage back at home. It's important for the education of our people. It's important to complete us as who we are as Indian people. And it's just important to have them at home. On the Boys Fort Reservation, for Range 11, I'm Jennifer Austin, 